there was joy in yesterday, why not return then and live those favorite hours again? Time granted can be packaged, definite, but movement within its bounds is infinite. A man's a fool who witless goes his way by calendar when he could choose his day. The greatest evil man inflicts upon man is voluntary enslavement to a sequence span. Hi, my name is Byron. I work with Nile Dry Kill Systems, and I'll be doing uh, some video clips called Flashback Friday. Uh, I've come to a spot here on the shore of Sebago Lake to uh, kind of emphasize the passing of time. Uh, I've been in the forest industry all my life. Uh, my, my fathers and grandfathers before me were farmers and loggers and sawmill guys. Uh, but this spot here is a spot I'll bring my grandsons to occasionally. And I tell them that when I was a boy, there wasn't a tree in sight here. In the summertime, they pastured the cattle here, and, and uh, in, in some years, uh, they mowed the hay here. I, I drove the, uh, the tractor uh, when I was the first time when I was 10 years old to mow these fields here. But my focus needs to be on the forest industry and uh, some memories here at the same spot. When I was a kid with my running around here with my cousin Paul, uh, we came here to enjoy the fishing. And while we would be here fishing, uh, there was a boom of logs that would come in from guys that were cutting the islands out here in uh, Dingley, uh, the uh, Dingley Islands here in uh, Sebago Lake. And uh, when they would get a when they would get a good rick of logs over here in the, uh, the, the little uh, brook here that's beside the point, they would uh, bring the horse in off the island and use him t to load the logs onto the truck. And uh, we would run across on the logs to, to watch and get in the way as much as they'd allow us. Another year when they logged the islands, they uh, they used a uh, World War II uh, civil defense surplus uh, amphibious duck to bring the logs ashore here. And uh, certainly uh, my cousin Paul and I were there to, to ride up to the mill sitting on top of the logs. Now, most of the things that I'm going to be talking about need to be directed back to Nile dry kills and the things that, that uh, the company does. Talk about other other places and things that I've seen, things that I've done. Uh, the boys said that I needed to wear different hats because all the jobs that I've done uh, over the years, you know, let's say, didn't, didn't necessarily require a different hat, but, you know, I will be wearing different hats at different times. Now, I've got with me a clothespin. We'll be talking. We'll be talking about about those. Some one of, one of my meetings. I'll be talking uh, quite extensively about baseball bats and uh, hope to be uh, setting up a meeting with with Jim Maines, third generation bat maker from Bridgeton, Maine. Uh, we'll be talking about a lot of different things, uh, all based in the uh, let's see, my past in the forest industry, and I encourage you to tune in if you'd like, uh, but it's certainly tune in to Henko and Stanley when they do, do their, their uh, videos as well.